So, the Jackson's theorem says in steady state, the number of customers in different nodes are independent. The number of customers in different nodes are independent. That means, uh, the behavior of the queuing system is uh, consisting of a behavior of many independent uh, nodes. The QI behaves as if uh, the arrival steam is poison. So, not only each node behaves independently, not only each node behaves independently, as if it behaves the arrival is going to be a poison for each node. Therefore, this point it is a poison, whereas this point is not a poison arrival process, but still in steady state the number of customers in this queue, number of customers in this queue, this queue and this queue, all the queue size are independent as well as in steady state, the arrival process for the each node behaves as if, as if a poison process, but they are not a in general poison process. So, in steady state, whenever you have open queuing network, with these assumptions in steady state is this behaves as a independent uh, queuing. Therefore, the joint probability of a n 1 customer in the first queue, n 2 customers in the second queue similarly and so on till the n k customers in the kth node. Since each nodes behaves independently. So, the number of customers in different queues are independent and so arrival or uh, poison and already you made assumption uh, it is a uh, infinite capacity each queue as well as uh, only one server in each queue. Therefore, the arrival follows a poison service is exponential only one server infinite capacity. That means, uh, even though it is a open queuing uh, network with the feedback each node behaves as if a mm on q in steady state that is important. That means, uh, as a time dependent uh, the system may depends on the size of the other uh, number of customers in the other nodes, but in steady state this behaves independently and each one behaves like a mm on infinity q. Therefore, you can get the joint distribution of a uh, n i customers in uh, i th node that is the product of a uh, n i customers in i th node. If you, if you make a product uh, that is going to be the joint distribution, because a joint distribution is going to be the product of individual probabilities if uh, each random variables or if each random variable is independent. Therefore, uh, you can use that logic to use to get the joint probability as the product form solution. And here rho i's are nothing but lambda i's divided by mu i's and which is has to be less than 1, if I got right, each rho i has to be less than 1, it has to be stable, each Q, queuing system has to be stable. So, in steady state you have a product form solution, where rho i's are lambda i divided by mu i, you have to find out lambda i's by solving the system of uh, k equations lambda i's are the unknown, r i's are given, routing probabilities are given. So, using that uh, solve for uh, solve for lambda i's from this uh, k equations. So, once you know the lambda i's uh, check whether lambda i's divided by mu i's is less than 1, then the stationary distribution exists. Using the Jackson theorem, the joint distribution is the joint uh, distribution that is the stationary distribution is of the product form solution. Assuming that each q behaves as the m moment q. So, for any general uh, k q's uh, tan, uh, not tandem q um, open queuing network with the feedback, you can get the average measures also. The way we have calculated for the two q's um, model or the tandem queue model, the same logic can be used for the open queuing networks with the feedback. We are getting average number, then sojourn time in each node, 
then mean waiting time in node each node by subtracting the average service time for each node you have k nodes so therefore you are getting the these measures for each node once you know the results for the each node you can find out the total sojourn time by using the littles formula because the littles formula is valid oh here the external arrival rate is lambda so that we have to add suppose here you have to finding out the lambda and for the open queuing network the lambda you have to compute by adding all the external arrival rates r1 plus r3 plus r4 that is going to be lambda in this example so if you add all the external arrival rates to different uh, queue different nodes that summation is going to be the total arrival rate to the system because to apply the littles formula you think uh, you consider the whole thing as a one system in which uh, r1 plus r3 plus r4 all are independent therefore the summation is going to be the arrival rate uh, for the system so the lambda for that example r1 plus r2 plus sorry r1 plus r3 plus r4 remarks for the open queuing network the networks behaves as if it were composed of independent mmo queues in steady state that is important i forgot to write that in steady state in time dependent this is not the case that i am going to i have written as a fourth remark in steady state these networks behaves as if it is composed of independent mmo queue so the equilibrium queuing length distribution in a jackson network is of product form so this solution is called a this solution is called a product form solution for open queuing network with the feedback that equilibrium queuing length distribution is of product form this the previous result can be extended to the multi server model also in that model we have taken it as a single server infinite capacity you can think of a, each queue is a mm c infinity also instead of mm 1 infinity in steady state this solution is valid with the mm c infinity logic whereas uh, the time dependent queuing length process are not independent therefore the product on product form solution won't work and the time dependent scenario is a uh, completely different and uh, with the steady state or the equilibrium uh, queuing length distribution you cannot uh, discuss the behavior of a time dependent the time dependent queuing length distributions are not independent for the each queues now i am moving into the closed queuing network so here comparing with the open queuing network here we have a fixed number of a population is moving around the queues no one leaves and no one enter the system also therefore you keep uh, some k customers in the system in this example i have a uh, four nodes and instead of uh, either you can have a uh, one server or uh, more than one servers also allowed with the infinite capacity queuing system and you make the assumption the service time is exponential distribution for each queue and all the servers are identical here also you can get the product form solution and the joint distribution of uh, the system size that is same as the product of rho i is power n i divided by d i is of n i for the k nodes the small k is the k nodes in the system and the capital k is the total number of population so the here these a k's are nothing but the normalizing constant and the rho i's are in terms of alpha i divided by mu i and alpha you can calculate by solving this equation where p is the routing probability matrix you solve uh, alpha times p is equal to alpha and the summation of alpha i is equal to 1 
you think that you will get alpha and substitute alpha i's here, therefore you will get rho i's, then you substitute d i's here based on the number of servers in the each node is 1 or more than 1, accordingly you can use this. And once you know the d i n i substitute here, this product form solution will give a joint distribution of a system size in steady state. And this result is given by Jordan and Neville for the closed queuing network. As a remark, this equilibrium solution is also product form and the routing probability matrix is a stochastic matrix. And suppose you assume P is irreducible, then the solving alpha alpha p is equal to alpha and the summation of alpha is equal to 1 that is nothing but uh, alphas are nothing but the stationary distribution whenever p is irreducible. Not uh, uh, p is uh, irreducible the underlying uh, DTMC is uh, irreducible with the assuming that uh, the underlying uh, DTMC is uh, irreducible then the alpha is nothing but the unique stationary distribution and this is valid for the cyclic queue also. And the toughness is uh, how to compute uh, A of k, where k is the number of uh, customers in the whole queuing network. So, you need a efficient and a stable computational algorithm for calculating this normalizing constant A of k. Here is a mistake assuming that uh, the DTMC is irreducible, the DTMC is irreducible, alpha is a unique uh, stationary distribution. So, now we will move into the summary. So, in this lecture, we have discussed the applications of CTMC in uh, tandem open and uh, queue, closed queuing networks. We have discussed the stationary distribution and other uh, performance measures for the tandem open and uh, closed queuing networks with the only the product form solutions. We did not discuss the non product form solution, we have only discussed the product form solution. And the application of CTMC in the performance analysis of wireless network system that I will discuss in the next lecture. Also, I am going to discuss the simulation of a simple Markovian uh, queuing networks in the next lecture. These are all the reference books. Thanks.